So we've got another question here uh, that involves ratio. Um, it says you have to write it as simple as possible. So usual advice uh, when you've got a ratio question, um, write it um, with the headings. So it's got a class of uh, girls and boys, and it wants the number of boys to the number of girls. So it's boys first to the number of girls. So again, watch the language carefully and make sure it's in the right order for a ratio. And it wants the ratio in the simplest form. So the number of boys uh, was 12, and the number of girls was 18. And it wants the ratio in the simplest form, so therefore we've got to look to see whether either number has uh, common factors. So both of these have a common factor of 6, so we can divide each of them by 6. So 12 divided by 6 is 2, and 18 divided by 6 is 3. So we check those two final numbers to make sure there's no common factors apart from 1. And to make them smaller, uh, there isn't. So the final answer will be 2 to 3. So ratio. Guess best um, approach. Write the headings. Write the numbers in that you know. Make sure the headings are in the same order as the words of the question. And then look for simplest form all the time by finding common factors. Uh, this question um, asks you to find the total area of the pattern made and again identifying key information what do we know we know that they're identical rectangular tiles so each of these have got exactly the same um, lengths and widths so we've got to try and work out the area so we know that we don't have a formula for a shape like this but we do have a formula for the area of a rectangle that has a length and a perpendicular height and the area is equal to the length times the height. So we're going to try and find the length and um, width of each of these rectangles. So they're identical. So let's have a look what information we got. So we know the length and the width is, let's have a look. So we've got a length plus a width equals seven. And we've got two lengths and a width. So two lengths and the width equals 11. So if we subtract those away from each other then we end up with length is equal to 4. So if that's true then that would make that 4, that would make that 3, that would make that 4, that 4 and that 3. Does that work? 4 plus 4 plus 3 is definitely 11. 4 plus 3 is 7. Okay, so again, we didn't know something, so look at what we know. We knew the length and the width of the rectangle going this way told us it was equal to 7. And we knew two lengths going this way plus a width is equal to 11. And if we subtract those from each other, the widths cancel each other out. So we're left with just what one length is, and the length was 4. So we now, we now know that one of the rectangles is 4, 3. So the area of this is 4 times 3, which is 12 square centimetres. And we've got four rectangles, and they're all identical. So 4 times 12 is equal to 48 square centimetres. So again, the key idea is all rectangles have the same length and width. So that told us about those relationships. So that's how we could do that question and end up with the answer of 48 square centimetres.